and take view. What's up everyone, I'm Paul Clark, sup Paul. Sorry for the noise, but I'm on the streets of Portland about to edit this interview with my buddy, Alan Pace. He's a hollow team paddler based in Washington in Kashmir on the shores of the Wenatchee River. Over the last few years, he has shown me all the lines on the Wenatchee from Leavenworth down to Kashmir. We've been at flood stage on the Metau, and last year we did a multi-day trip on the Salmon River in Idaho. He's a great guy. <laughs> he always makes me laugh and reminds me an important thing about paddleboarding. Have fun. You're going to like this guy. Let's go meet him. This is Alan Pace. <laughs> Alan Pace, and this interview is over. <laughs> I'm from Kashmir, Washington, uh, on the shores of the beautiful Wenatchee River. Paddleboarding for me is is a way to get on the river. I've always loved the river, and there's something just really powerful and natural about it. And it's where I feel my best. And I've I've played on the river since I was a kid, but only for the last five years have I realized that paddleboarding is like the perfect way to get out there and experiencing it. Uh, and, and just, there's a whole community of people out on the river, kayaks and rafts and everything. And it's just another way to get out there. And it's, it's, it's really, it's been an obsession almost. And it's awesome, love it. I scratch my head every day, like why are more people not doing this? It's, it's, it's the most fun I've had in a long time. It's especially on, on my river, the Wenatchee River, it's, it's relatively safe. I mean, I don't wanna say it's, it's super safe but compared to a lot of other rivers it's big waves deep water fun surf spots you fall off the board you climb back on you know it's it's you're wearing a helmet and life jacket and all that and you uh it's it's fun and and i drag friends out on the river um and and some of them have gotten hooked and some of them have said nah, not for me so it's hard to say the future uh, i feel like um it makes more sense to me than, than some of the other ways down the river. I love the comfort of it and just being able to swim, uh, sit down, lay down, do some stretching between rapids, uh, not being locked into a kayak, but I've got some kayak friends and they do pretty awesome things in those boats too. So to me though, it seems like, you know, maybe more people get on the river. It seems like it could get to be a, a, bigger, a bigger sport, but for me, I'm just happy there's boards that are being made that do exactly what I want them to do right now. So at least it's, it's, a, it's a thing, you know, because I wish it was a thing when I was younger, but I'm, I'm pretty stoked to get a piece of it uh, while I still can. You know, sometimes when I think about art, I think about, you know, an audience. You know, you're, making, you're trying, to, trying to say something, you're trying to make something beautiful. And so I think the difference with paddleboarding as an art is, is who that audience is. And, um, sometimes it's maybe other people in rafts, you know, they come by, you got to try and make it look good because, you know, I'm human. But most of the time I think I'm probably the audience, you know, I'm the audience that I'm trying to make art for because a lot of times it's just me and in the river. And so just trying to, to do, uh, to do uh, what I do and what I love to do is, as well as I can. And there's, there's a picture in my mind somewhere and, and uh, I try to try to make it look interesting. First night in the field. Any words of wisdom for the camera? Yeah, just keep the board right side up. More than often than not, words, words matter. I can't talk. 